Okay, here's our John Deere 5000 5010 5020 series two wheel drive to MFWD conversion. So, this is a 20 series tractor, it's got 10 series cosmetics, but this is the original Carrero hub that was used on the 100, the 10, and the early 20 series. It's also a standard because of the width. Now, if you're not running the loader, this is the perfect uh, axle. If you're running the loader, it's not the perfect axle because it's more of a light duty or standard duty. It is a Carrero brand. So there's some information there. So what we do here is you've got to, uh, your support will not have the boat hose to hold these pivot supports. So what we have to do is we send the front axle bolster or support with it. I'll come back to that. You also need to get the drive shaft and you have to have the MFWD clutch, sometimes referred to as a drop box. It will come with uh, wheels and centers. We do not include tires into this kit because tires will muck up any deal. Now we may have tires and we can talk about those in the end. But here, this is just a good use axle. Basically when an axle comes in, whether we're gonna dismantle it for parts or sell it complete, just like you would do or a shop would do, we'll turn the hub around, drain the oil. We actually filter it through a paint filter. And what we found is that um, typically that's an indicator that we may have some internal problems, uh, not necessarily even with metal, but if it's really dark and dirty oil, that's the ones that the seals usually leak on. So it's uh, just a quick indicator for us. So this front pivot support goes with the front bolster. Um, looks like maybe this plastic piece has to go with it also. Didn't think about that one, but uh, steering, uh, steering lines. Again, this is not a bad axle. This is a properly greased axle. So this one here has actually been taken care of. Now, these little boots, on a good used, we're probably just gonna send it just like it is. Some of these we get into reconditioning, that'd be a different uh, scenario. But, you know, again, we don't see a leak on the steering cylinder. Now, the part that um, we're gonna struggle with a little bit, just full disclosure, but these little clamps that hold, um, hold these lines, I got another clamp here or mount then those lines are going to go up into the dash so we're going to have to follow our lines around where they go into and then somewhere up in here they're going to come off also we've got a lever that engages now i'm pretty sure most of these are going to come standard with that hole if not you'll just have to cut that hole in yours because that sort of stays with our platform. There's another side of your drop box, your lever or linkage that goes up. Now this particular one has a shield over it, so the shield will come with it. The bolts in the back of the engine will need to come with it. And anything else we see when we get in here, Looks like maybe there's some brackets right there that mount to that. So there's our early version 5000 series conversion axle. 
uh, one thing is, uh, last thing that's important, matching up your rear tires and to the front. If not, you get a ratio difference and you'll start having issues.